the quality of the work was astounding. It was incredibly high. The audience responded so well to it, and the, the messages that these pieces carried are incredibly poignant. They're really, really powerful. They're saying that young people should be given a choice, they should be given a voice, because if they do, they'll use it for the to, to the fullest and really express themselves coherently, intelligently, and passionately. So, all in all, this is this for me has been and has been the the, the icing, uh, the icing on the cake. For me. It's Saturday the 26th of November and we're here at the Albany Theatre in Deptford we're working with the Red Room. They are putting on an event called the um, Riot Response. They came and saw our work at Oval House. Really impressed with the um, standard of work from our young people and the messages that they carry. And so they asked us to come along and ask if we wanted to get involved in, um, in their event. So we've got all three acts along, um, all very different, all just as powerful as each other. So this is all part of the idea uh, or part of the conquest to try and get um, uh, some answers as to why the riots happened back in August and we were really glad to be um, uh, assisting in that. I'd done a monologue at the Give Me A Voice Not A Label which was written by Sade Banks. It was um, basically about what happened in the riots and um, to give a positive sort of a message to the, to the young ones to, to fix up basically. I watched the Question Time special on the rights and I felt sick of it. To hear that people who are guilty of looting and taking part in the rights face not only jail time, but the possibility of losing their homes and the benefits. I felt sick of it. I felt sick of it that there was a petition online that anyone could sign for this idea to be debated upon in the House of Commons. I felt even more sick and I knew people who signed it. We're doing a monologue from Busting It, which was part of the Truth About Youth projects produced by Oval House earlier this year. So we realise, I don't think we are mature, financially stable enough to support, so we choose to abort without parental consent. Shit, if we don't, all three of us will be living in a tent, not affording the rent, or in my back garden. Osama Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> See, I listen to the news. News to you, I bet. Who did you vote for? Uh, if I asked you, would you know what they stood for? Like sounding like a right for, aren't I? Basically, I did a duet with one of my partners in crime, Tolu, and we did a piece about how youths are like literally being assumed as as if they'd done the riots. Well, basically it's a play within a play, so it's a bunch of school kids and they're putting on a play at their secondary school. It's based around seven characters, uh, predominantly 16 year olds apart from me, I'm 17, and it is set in a rehearsal room and they're rehearsing to do a play in their school, so it's a play within a play. It came from, because I've been trying, I've been writing this since I was 16, and it came from just the last year of secondary school, and I always wanted to do something on youth my age. Skeen itself is about how these individuals represent themselves to the public or to whoever else, and how they want to be perceived by the other people. So it's about identity and status and relationships and sexuality is very high energy. And why you can't even think to comprehend it? Comprehend what? That every youth in this play talks about it, just made in weed, fresh out the line well, or that every guy in some dirty hole who gets smashed four times in a sweet potato and talks about how the room smells like shit. Or that every man treats his girl lower than cow doo doo and rolls in the steel. Is this the truth, yeah? Is this what life's really about? 
Today we're at the Cinema Museum for Night at the Museum. Um, it's been a really, really great night. The films on display, all conducted, generated, filmed, directed, acted by young people. So proud, so proud. I was absolutely overwhelmed by the, by the talent on display. They've really proved themselves this evening. Uh, the material itself, all very demonstrative of just how inspiring creative young people can be. No association with knife or gun crime, so on and so forth. It was just about the real, the simple truth of what it is to be young in London. We had some really um, exciting um, individuals in the building as well. Uh, Noel from the BFI, obviously doing amazing stuff with his young people in, in film. I mean, it's really important for young people to uh, not only make films, but also to uh, show their films and also to show their films not just to the peer group, but to uh, adults and ideally to you know policy makers, decision makers, people in the media. Because if you want to change the uh, sort of way that young people are perceived through the media, then you have to kind of get those kinds of people involved and get discussion going and get them to listen to you and some of the most creative and interesting ways to get people to listen to you is to make a film. Bruce Goodson who directed this awesome um, BBC3 drama, My Murder, which I think presented a really accurate portrayal of what uh, that incident actually incurred. We had Shivani and Malachi both starred in the films, having them up there on the panel was really um, hopefully acted as a nice inspiration for the young people, the young actors and actresses that were in the audience as well, showing that they, look how achievable, how, how obtainable it is, achievable, they're up there, they started here at Oval House and now they're up there shooting films with the BBC, up on the panel talking about their experience of it. So all in all it's been a, it's been a really, really great night and really effective night. Thank you very much for your time, give me your time. Thank you very much. Basically, we're bringing um, younger and older generations together. This is a project about bringing two generations together, young and old. And so I implore and encourage you all, please, to interact with each other, have a chat. Young people are not as frightening as you would think. Well, the idea for today was to really challenge the negative perception that is put about our young people in the media. Generally in media, and generally around people you speak to, they're like, oh, young people don't talk to the older people, or the young people are like, oh, well, the old people just don't understand that. And, you know, this has basically proven them wrong. I think it's great because right at the beginning, I was very keen to get an intergenerational project going because it is very sad that youth, not only is there, there is the bad media representation which needs correcting, but they're compartmentalised, and they aren't. We're all part of the same democracy, the same people, the same human beings. I mean, I, every one of us has grandparents, and we all speak to our grandparents, we all have fun with our grandparents. You know, there's, there's no difference here. We're coming here, we're chatting, we're having fun, just having an amazing time. And to actually marry up in most families, even if they're not the traditional families, there's often a grandparent or other parts of the generation that are still in existence. And I think it's very important that if there isn't a family, that you actually find a new family with some of the older generation, because that way you actually end up with, a, with happier families, if you like. It has been a majorly successful day. We had more senior citizens, senior citizens groups coming in. We had individual senior citizens coming in, which is fantastic. So they're coming from all over uh, South London, South East London, which is fantastic. They all came, uh, they all saw, and I think we conquered. It's been an, ultimately a really successful day, more successful than last year. So I'm really cool, I'm, I'm relieved uh, and absolutely thrilled that we got to pull off again. And looking forward to what we're gonna do next year because it's gonna get bigger and better. This is the last performance of Romeo and Juliet, and uh, I suppose while we're here in this, in this particular scene, this is the party scene that's taking place. You're generally, as an audience member, you're seated, you're seated and the stage is there, whereas this time the audience is following the, the, the characters, and the, the characters are always the characters, and I, I totally agree with that, that it's almost a journey through the lives of these characters in the, in the most purest form following Romeo, following Juliet in every um, endeavour and it, it's, it's definitely different. It's been excellent. I mean, there's people who I know who have not watched uh, any Shakespeare have come and initially it's been like, you know, what's this? What's going on? So um, just the mere um, promenade has thrown people kind of um, in what's supposed to happen and so you know even if people have gone to prom night you don't know what's going to happen because it's not your show unless you're in there. I think it's a real 
it's a real, I suppose, shock or, or surprise or, you know, it's just something completely different that the audience haven't, haven't received before. The, the age that we're working with at the moment, in the teens, you know, that's where you've got the fire, you, you're trying to establish yourself as, um, as a person, as, a, as an adult, that's when you're trying to establish yourself is through these years. So it's, it's, quite a, it's quite informative and I love the fire that the young people bring. It's, it's, for me, it's, you know, it's wicked. Uh, I think a lot of people are expecting uh, the youth theatre to be a certain level. Um, they're pe expecting uh, young people in terms of creative stuff to be a specific message or a specific whatever but we're showing that young people can create amazing art regardless yeah, yeah, yeah. you know you, you come and see a show like this it would be almost like at the level of the national level at the at, at the biggest shows that you could possibly see and it's all done by young people and so I think the message that we're sending is that you know regardless of what you might think about young people regardless of what you might have heard about young people like come here and see this see the art that they're creating because it's on such a level that you have not seen before. We are here at Cam Bestival 2012. We have brought Bussing It, the show we did last year outside the Ritzy Cinema. Uh, and here it is, we are here on the Double Decker bus again. Uh, different cast, same show though, uh, same messages, same agenda. It's just a strong, very different audience though. No, I think it's a shame. I think young kids these days, they, they get tired with the same brush, don't they? They're, like Everybody thinks that young kids want to um, cause disruption, cause trouble or whatever. But actually, in, in, it might be in the same in, in the city of London, but where we live, we live in a nice little place in Peterborough. And I think the kids do quite well, don't they? It's really exciting actually, because um, starting the project, we got a documentary um, and I got to see uh, the lovely uh, Rosie perform this piece. Um, and I didn't get. And when I was watching it, I was just like, "Oh my God, they're, they're on a bus and they're performing, and people, are, just local people, are seeing it." And I personally enjoy seeing theatre that's done in a different format, unconventional theatre. I really enjoy that. So to get the opportunity to do that um, and be a part of this project is really, really cool. Um, I think in terms of the Truth About Youth project in general, again, we are um, challenging the negative stereotypes about young people. We sent a whole lot of promo material out last year at the end of TY Year One, and it basically the show and the idea, the concept got snapped up um, by the event, by the festival organiser, Becky. We met with her, we told her a little bit about what Truth About It's all about and challenging perceptions of young people. She really wanted us to come in. It's important that we took it to Camp Festival because we're looking at a very different audience here. So it's really nice and really important actually that we get a whole new audience up here that actually we're inspiring them and getting involved in the arts and people aren't just being perceiving it as just some sort of a luxury or passion. It's not, it is a way of life, it is a profession, it is taken seriously, there is you know, there is a discipline that is required to it. So if there's young people doing that then, it's a, then it can only be a positive thing.